Hi, everybody. It's Lisa Tversky, co-chair of the upcoming NEFESH International Conference this December 11 through 15, um, Wednesday night through Sunday. And I'm here with our Wednesday wait, when, night. Wait, hold on. I thought the conference starts on Thursday. What do you mean Wednesday? Um, Dr. Klafter, you're part of the Wednesday night lineup. We are starting this year on Wednesday night. Hey, everyone. We are. Is we anyone going to tell me about it? Okay. This We're going to discuss it now, right? We're going to discuss it now. Okay, go. We decided to give Wednesday night complimentary programming. People can come just for Wednesday night. We have incredible programming, which you're going to hear about from in a minute. We have Dr. Nuffkin Klopter. We have Barry Horowitz, LCSW, Rifki Youngrice, LCSW, and Dr. Hindi Klein, psychologist. We're really excited about the programming that we're gonna be having Wednesday night. It's an amazing opportunity for people to get a little something extra, to get uh, extra networking, to get extra training, to get extra fun um, into their conference schedule or to come just for Wednesday night. And so we're really looking forward to Barry, could you tell us you're gonna be really giving a very strong clinical presentation on increasing resilience um, in, survivors of trauma. So can you give us a sentence or two about what you're going to be doing? Yeah, I'm actually very excited. It's, um, you know, having spent a couple of decades really working on both uh, interventions for, uh, for individuals who have suffered trauma and also prevention work for sexual abuse and other interpersonal trauma. This is actually an opportunity to explore themes of uh, resiliency, but even more uh, than resiliency, the theme of post-traumatic growth. Uh, which is really the essence of uh, the very delicate balance uh, between not only surviving, but are there truly benefits, not that we are looking for individuals to go through trauma, but are there positive outcomes from very difficult situations that come on up uh, in people's lives? We're going to get into some concrete ways of, uh, of both identifying, uh, assessing, and then uh, hopefully going through some really good uh, models of, um, of bolstering post-traumatic growth as well. So right. I'm very much looking forward to that. Yes. Okay. And Dr. Hindi Klein and Rifki Youngrice, LCSW, you all are teaming up once again to talk about clinical faux pas. And can you give us a sentence or two about what you're going to be uh, presenting in your workshop? Um, so I'll start and then Rifki will finish. Um, as you know, this is going to be, I think, the third year we're doing this. Um, we have found that there is much to learn from all the clinical faux pas that we do um, inadvertently, hopefully inadvertently, in our work. And it could have to do with a transference, counter-transference, it could have to do with timing, it could have to do with being sleepy, it could have to do with a lot of different things. What? Boundaries boundaries, boundary violations, or boundary issues. So we have found that um, we learn a lot from the mistakes that we make. And we want this to be a wonderful, rich clinical learning experience, but we also wanna do it within the, con within the context of some humor. And we are looking at different things this year. We want it to be a little bit different. So we're looking at- But we will continue to keep it fun. We'll have some fun. interaction with interaction with our audience yes. and we'll have some role play and different video clips. Right. I'm really excited because this is something that we can continuously learn from and I think it's, 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 it, it will really encompass all audiences, you know, uh, clinicians, early professionals, advanced clinicians. We always find ourselves in difficult positions sometimes and I think this would be a great way of really demonstrating how we can deal with it and how we can get and elicit some um, information from the audience to share. Great. Right, we want a lot of audience participation this year. We've always had audience participation after we've done our film clips or after we've done our role plays. We've always had feedback from the audience, but now this year, Arifki and I are keeping it a little bit under wraps. Yes. But we're, we're, uh, we're working towards some other interesting concepts involving the audience and involving professionals, whether you're early professionals, as Rifki said, or whether you're more seasoned professional, there's always ways that you can learn in a very rich and fun 
And I just want to mention that I think it's really nice that we're all, for this Wednesday night, we were going to be networking and having fun and hanging out with each other. And I'll be peeking into other different workshops as well. But I think what's nice about it is that we get CUs and we get to meet each other and have the same type of feel, you know, starting out on Wednesday. And we can all be relaxed and chilled. So I'm looking forward. So I would just add really quickly, just in terms of the early professionals, and that's a that's a that's a dynamic and and an incredible uh, group that we have now. And for, for them to have that opportunity to come on in, um, and, and and not you know because there there is such a crunch financially in our in in our profession, uh, it gives us all an, an opportunity to learn from each other and connect, uh, like Rifki and uh, and Hindi had said, to really connect with a little bit less pressure that it has to be on a specific day. So I'm super super excited about that. Right. Thanks. And last but certainly not least, uh, Dr. Klopter, you're <laughs> going to be bringing your always insightful view on clinical situations that we get, that all of us sort of get a peek at at the listserv. You're going to be bringing that to life um, and inviting people to really experience it, that with you in your presentation, correct? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be asking people from the participants to describe very difficult scenarios that they were faced with in real time and they did not know what to do. And I'm not considering it to be supervision, it's more like a consultation. Um, and you know, the way psychotherapy unfolds is that you can't plan for it. A lot of times people have the idea that you're supposed to have like this ready like line to say or just know how to respond and that's not how it goes. What happens is we get bombarded with like really difficult, strange situations. And there's sometimes there's just nothing you could do that would seem like it could be helpful or worthwhile. And anything you say is gonna be a problem. And so I wanna look at scenarios like that with people. Um, not necessarily, well, I think I probably will say, this is what I imagine I would say. Of course, you never know what you'd say because you're Monday morning quarterbacking it after it happens. But this is what someone could say, but more like, you know, this is what maybe was happening at that moment. And um, I think it will be an opportunity for people that don't know a lot of people there to get to know one another, hear about their work, hear about the things that challenge them, hear about what made them have trouble. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of audience participation. But yeah, it's an idea. So to some degree, it might be what might a clinician do working from another perspective. And it also might be like, what does this just show about the psychotherapy process? So that's what I hope that my talk is going to involve. Right. So we really, as everyone can hear, we really work very hard to be able to give people, as some of you have said, a place where in a more relaxed environment, an easier to access environment in some ways, um, a, a place where you can really get a powerful taste of what the Nefesh Conference is, whether it's in addition to or whether it's because you can't otherwise um, it's really going to be a fun, informative, exciting, networking evening. I think so, it's will, 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 will we be fed? Will we be fed? We will not be serving dinner, so bring some snacks. And we'll I be hanging this, out afterward. And we'll yes. be hanging out, out afterward. Relax and connect. I might bring that guitar right there. We'll oh. I hey. hope I might sing. You hear it? Heard it here? You heard it with me last time. Okay, last secret, time secret, secret comes in. Right. Okay. Right. Not going to be so secret. <laughs> you know what? This I is going to be an amazing way to start the conference. An amazing I, way really to start, start the conference or to get a taste of the conference. Yes. In yeah. whatever. I'll bring snacks and candles. All okay. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Looking forward to seeing El. See Can't wait to see everybody. Bye -bye. Can't wait to see everybody. Come to Nefesh.